Hey, if you saw the title, the clip tip, I'm going to show you right now what that is. A lot of people will wait and, and hide it in the end of the video type of thing. And sometimes we do that if it's going to be fun. But I'm going to show you right now what I'm talking about. And it is when we're clipping this net wire. I don't know if you've ever done it. But one of the biggest issues you'll have is when you get down here at the bottom. I grew up clipping a lot of fence and we used a... a screwdriver or we used wire pliers or needle nose and you just don't have any room you don't have any room to get anything under and get a good bite on your clip right there so I found this tool that is unbelievable for what I'm doing so I'm going to show you what that is real quick Okay, so you can see this is what I'm talking about. If you have a clip on here and you're trying to clip, number one, you got these two inch gaps right here. And you know, used to, you know, you'd put it around this and you'd clip it over like that and just twist it. Well, you can't get there. It's hard to get like this at this angle. It's just hard to do. And so some genius came out with this little tool. And it's called a clip bender. And I will put a link in the description, but you can find them a lot of different places. Uh, you can see it's got this little hole on the end of it. I'll show you what that's for. But our guys and actually bored that out a little bit when they were helping me with the fence, and it, and it worked a lot better. But the way it works is you just slide it through here like this. You bend it. Take it to the other side. Bend it on around. Okay, so then you come over to this side and you can see this little tip right here. That little hole that I was talking about goes right over it. And it's kind of hard to do with the camera in the way, but it goes right over it. Then you just pull it at you and it wraps it all nice and neat. I mean, that is worth all kinds of time. You bend it, take it to the other side, bend it on around, goes right over it. Then you just pull it at you and it wraps it all nice and neat. Because I'm telling you, I've, I've tried to dig on this before to give me enough room underneath the fence. You can't hardly do anything through here because it seems like you're always catching on a vertical that's in the way. You know, one of these guys. And you just don't have enough room between the post and the vertical to do anything. So this thing right here, you know, it was anywhere from, you know, 16 bucks to 20 bucks and it's it's worth it uh, we've already used them on lots of fence and for this net fence with this small spacing it's worth it barbed wire you know i don't know on barbed wire uh a, a screwdriver works pretty good i like using needle nose on barbed wire but i haven't tried barbed wire yet with this thing so uh we'll see anyway it's called the clip bender the clip bender i'll leave a link well i'm making my run checking cattle uh, all that kind of stuff and I knew I had a well issue as far as I knew there was water running over pretty good and what tends to happen is when you have we've got tubs all over the ranch and most of them don't have cattle at them and so what happens is that ice builds up and then when it starts thawing out it goes to moving around and it ends up breaking the float loose uh, either a rope or on this particular one, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it looks like the wire, I don't know if it'll focus on that or not. This camera sometimes has a hard time focusing. But it looks like the rope went through that float. And so I'm gonna wade over there and see if 
I can find the rope and see what I've got if I can just jerry-rig it for just a little bit here and see if it'll get us by and kind of go go from that point otherwise I have to go back and find another float which I may have one laying around somewhere but uh, I have to go back and try to find one so I'm gonna do that right now I think that'll get me by it's under the water as you can see and it's holding so it's, it's evidently got it shut off so we'll see if that will get me by here at least until I can get back down here tomorrow that'll stop the running now my problem is I got all this water everywhere in this lot so that means when the cattle come in here they're gonna mud it up the good news is is the, the bottom the bottom down here is pretty solid so I don't think that's going to be a huge issue so we'll see though I'll check it again tomorrow you know I could shut it off right here but I sure would like for them to have access to fresh water especially after this thing we've been through it's just the less the less stress I can put on them you know after this deal the better off they're gonna be because you know they've been under some massive stress so Hopefully that'll last until we kind of get out of here. Well, good afternoon. We are moving the cattle on the next move here. Uh, like I was telling everybody earlier, I don't know if it's going to be in this video or the next one, but uh, we're we just it's time to be moving the cattle a minimum every day, and we just keep moving them. We're trying to put condition back on them before we get into our calving season, which is we've got you know 60 to 90 days before that happens and really closer to 90 so we've got some time to get that done so we're moving them quick trying to get that condition back on them uh, one thing I wanted to mention real quick before we kind of get going on this video was you know we've started an Instagram channel and our channel or site or I don't really know what that is but we started it with the help of my expert niece uh, she was able to kind of tell us how to get that stuff set up and stuff so uh, and she's a genius on that stuff which most most young ladies or young adults are and so we were able to get that set up and one of the main reasons we wanted to set that up was so we could correspond more with uh, people that are maybe watching the the videos it gives you a real nice ability to direct message people that you're watching and so like if you have questions or which this is something that the reason we did is because this is something that I do uh, I've contacted people before on the direct message on the Instagram because I can get a response pretty good and you know questions about kind of what they're doing and maybe why they're doing and and all that kind of stuff so we set that up where we could uh, uh, do that so you know if you have any questions you can DM us on Instagram if you have anything that, that, that we need to respond to check it out you know follow it if it's something you think you might be able to utilize to DM us and uh, or just DM us so we can get to know everybody uh, that's kind of what this thing is about which is kind of why I like it it's uh, everybody kind of gets to pool their knowledge and their resources together and once you do that you know you just everybody learns more everybody does better uh, that kind of thing so I really like it for that reason so I'm excited about the Instagram deal uh, I 
just for the communication side of it. I'm a big communicator, so I'm really excited about that. Anyway, check it out. So what we're doing here is we're moving our cows, like I said, a quick time. They're moving by the cliff here. This is one of my favorite spots on the ranch. Uh, it's just a big old cut bank that when that river gets up, it cuts the side out. And it's just got some pretty, some pretty views down through here with that creek running. They're sidetracked by my helper. Yeah, there he is. One of the fighters. 